All right, hello, hello. This video is to give you an idea of how to create a signup form and constant contact that you can then embed on your website. So number one, make sure that you're signed up for constant contact and you're on a paid account. Um, and then you'll want to go to the sign up forms tab. So there's lots of little tabs here, lots of options for you to do and sign up for. Go to sign up forms right here. Uh, you'll show a sign up forms dashboard that'll have something that's pretty similar to this. If you've already created one, it'll look a little different and we'll see that towards the end. But to create a form, you can either create, click here or click here. And we're just going to click here to create our first one. Now there's lots of different forms. If you're familiar with Constant Contact, you have a lot of options. You have your pop up, fly out, banner. Uh, today we're going to create an inline. So this is one that you can embed directly into your website and it just sits on a static page. It doesn't pop in anywhere. It's not at the top of your site. You can kind of put it wherever you like. So we're going to create an inline. And then we're going to have a bunch of options to create and mess around with constant contact here. So you have your title. This is going to show you like the sign up for updates and you can just kind of edit each of these inside their respective sections. You can kind of customize this to your delight. So say you wanted to add a field for people's first and last name and also their phone number. You can just click on all those to add those in, right? So I'm going to leave those as they are. You do need to make sure that people are connected to an email list. If you don't have that ready by the time you hit publish, it will tell you you need to do that. Um, you can also get kind of creative if you want to customize the button colors, the text colors, the background colors, all that fun stuff. Um, there are also a few different options. So you can hide the constant contact branding if you're um, wanting to just keep everything really simple. And you can also specify which devices this form goes on. But for now, that's everything that I want to do with this form. So I'm going to go ahead and hit publish and pick a list. All right, now that my form has been created, I have a couple of things that I need to do. So first, if you're using like WordPress or Shopify or Wix or any kind of um, builder that has a connection to Constant Contact, uh, you'll probably want to install the plugin first and sign into that plugin because then you won't need to do a lot of this universal sign in code stuff. But um, if you don't have that option, then you're going to need to do two things. So number one, you're going to need to grab this universal code here, copy it to your clipboard, and then you're going to want to install that in your footer. So depending on how you have your website set up, we're in my site right now. I'm actually going to go to my footer here. If I can remember where I put it. I think it's a global section, actually. Aha, actually. I don't want to put this in here. <laughs> I want to put this in WP code header and footer. Perfect. All right, I'm going to go right to my footer here and paste that code. Hit save. And then we're going to go back to constant contact here. And then I'm also going to grab the inline code and copy the clipboard. And then we're going to go back to the page that I want to add this to. So this is a, a page that I actually have left over from an old school project um, with a background image from Devs, the TV show on Hulu. Very good show. If you've never seen it. Take a look. But we're going to go actually into that page here. Boom, here it is. Okay, and then depending on what theme, if you're in WordPress um, or what CMS you're using, if you're on maybe Wix or Shopify, the process is gonna look a little different, but essentially what you wanna do is you wanna find the way that your CMS wants you to install an HTML embed form, and you're gonna paste it right in here. And then from there, you're going to hit update. Boom. 
And now that I've hit update, you'll see my form starting to pop up right here. So that's about everything that we need to do in terms of creating the form and embedding it uh, into your site. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know.